WYFF News 4, live local breaking news at 6. Okay, in case you haven't heard, Clemson head football coach Dabo Sweeney lost the word interim today. He got the job. He did, and he's very excited about it, covering <laughs> the news of Clemson's new head coach, News 4 Sports Director Jeff Hart. Hey, Jeff. Hi guys, well this uh, press conference here just wrapped up moments ago and right before it ended, Athletic Director Terry Don Phillips said that Dabo Sweeney will be one of the great coaches in America. What did you think about that? Pressure right out of the gate, right? Congratulations. <laughs> uh, appreciate it. Uh, just very excited. Appreciate the confidence that, that uh, Dr. Phillips has in me and President Barker. So uh, looking forward to the challenge. What you did in 48 days to get that job, absolutely remarkable. Certainly you were an underdog. Did you believe from the get-go you could get it done? Absolutely, uh, you know, and I, as I said in my very first night at the press conference, I, I've always been an underdog and wouldn't want it any other way. But um, uh, I've always had confidence in, that I, that I that I could do this, and you know, really glad that uh, it worked out well enough. I could do it as well, and so just looking forward to getting started. I'm glad we got one more game and uh, we're going to do everything we can to send these seniors out with one more win. You have worked so hard here in the last seven weeks. You had said that you really didn't have an opportunity to think, wow, I'm going to be the guy until you were offered the job last night. And certainly the emotions just spilled out here today. Yeah, doggone it. I apologize <laughs> for that. I just, uh, I really haven't. You know, it's been such relentless pursuit of our goals and, and you know, focusing on our team and then or, or the opponent. Just really haven't had a chance to be emotional, uh, but you know today it really kind of caught up with me. And um, uh, but we got through it. You told uh, people here today and people who were listening to the press conference believe in your dreams because dreams come true. Oh, no doubt. You know I, I wanted people to know. Listen, dream big, and uh, and then go make it happen. And believe in yourself and don't ever quit because because they do come true. And one came true for me today. Yeah, and we're showing the shot of you putting on the orange jacket. Was that surreal or was like? I belong in this jacket. Well, I was a little worried if it was going to fit because I didn't try it on <laughs> beforehand. And uh, uh, but it, it was it was very surreal and just amazing what God can do if you just put your eyes upon Him and and that kind of capped it off. Uh, uh, felt good. Felt really good. Yeah, I guess when the jacket fits, it was meant to be. Congratulations, Dabo Swinney. Thank you so much. Fantastic. And uh, the 25th head football coach at Clemson University as Coach Swinney steps aside. We'll have a player for you live coming up in sports a little bit later on. Of course, the players have been saying time and time again they think that Dabo Swinney is the guy. And sure enough, he is the guy. Jeff Hart live in Clemson. I'll send it back to you. Jeff, thanks. Uh, warm hearts there. Freezing starts in December. <laughs> Cold wind in the upstate and snow in the mountains. Yeah, it, it is December after. And you saw there plenty of emotion here today from Dabo Sweeney, who said pretty much seven weeks just all built up inside of him and just all spilled out here today. Let's talk to senior receiver Tyler Grisham. Of course, Dabo Sweeney was the receiver's coach until he took over here midway through the season. You knew him well. You're not surprised at all he got this job, are you? I'm not. Um, I've known him for quite a long time since I was young. I grew up going to uh, summer camps with him. and. You know, knew him from a young age, and I really was not surprised when he was named the head coach. I'm, I could have betted for him being the head coach weeks ago when people were questioning it, but just because I know what he brings to the table. I know that Clemson's going to get a great person um, on and off the field, um, an amazing coach, one of the best in the nation for sure. And, and you know, it may sound cheesy, but it's 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 I'm certain of that for sure. Yeah, yeah. you wanted to walk down the hall and tell Terry Don Phillips stop traveling around the country and interviewing everybody. Exactly. I mean, I, I don't know why he would do that, and no, I'm just kidding. But you know, you he made a great decision, and I'm just excited that people will be able to see um, what I've been able to witness and, and learn from um, for four years at Clemson. Uh, people are going to get a coach that you know knows how to love and care for his players um, on and off the field, and. They're also going to get a coach that demands discipline, um, demands pride and, and courage, and just really just a perfect mix for a head coach. All right, Tyler Grisham, many thanks. Congratulations on a great career. I know you always put it on the line every Saturday afternoon. That. Certainly Clemson fans enjoyed watching you play. So Dabu Sweeney, there you have it, the man now in charge officially. Remove the interim label. Not the only coach being introduced today up in Knoxville. Lane Kiffin introduced as the Tennessee Vols' new coach.